Ahoya! Welcome back to Botanical Woman. In this video, I'm going to show you the best method to propagate Ahoya. If you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Now let's get started. There are at least three different methods to propagate Hoyas. First, there is water propagation, which is super popular. However, you end up with water roots, which takes time to acclimate to soil life. Second is propagating directly in soil. However, this method, in my experience, is more sensitive to overwatering, causing rot. My favorite method is the bag of Hoya method. It's super simple and works like a charm. To do this, you'll need a Hoya cutting, a Ziploc bag, perlite, and water. Step number one, get a Hoya cutting. If you're taking your own cutting, make sure you sterilize your scissors and use sharp scissors so you don't smush the stem. Like a surgeon, you want a nice clean cut. If you got your cutting through the mail, like I often do, rehydrate them by soaking them in water for two hours. You can add hydrogen peroxide if you like to disinfect the cuttings, which may be necessary if the plants have been grown outside. Step two, add some perlite to the bag. Three handfuls should be good. Although there's no harm in adding a few extra. Step three, wet the perlite. I like to pour water into the bag and let the perlite soak up as much water as it wants. Give it about 10 minutes, then pour out any excess water. You don't want to leave a puddle of water in the bag as this could cause rot. Step four, pour your cutting in the bag. Step five, zip it up and leave a small opening so you can blow air into the bag. This helps with humidity and keeps the bag away from the cutting, which could cause rot from the water condensation. Step six, zip it all the way up. Place the bag in low to medium indirect light. Not super bright, definitely no direct sun, and not in the dark either. Check the bag every three days to refresh the air and look for rot. If you see rot, remove it right away. If the stem begins to rot, cut that part off and see if you can stop it. Dipping it in some rooting hormone can also help as it has antifungal properties. Check the leaves for firmness. It is not unusual for Hoyas to go limp during this process. If it happens, go ahead and soak the cutting for another two hours. If you think the perlite is getting too dry, feel free to rehydrate it as needed, but it isn't likely. You should see root development in about three weeks, although this will vary depending on the Hoya and how healthy the cutting is. I'm usually able to pot them up in four to five weeks but some Hoyas will take longer. Waiting until you have three or more roots that are each about a centimeter long will help increase the chance of survival. So why is this the best method? Because it best stimulates Hoya's natural environment. The bag and perlite both create a human environment which Hoyas love. Hoyas are epiphytes, which means their roots love air and the roots that develop are ready for soil life. If you've watched any of my other propagation videos, you know I'm all about maximizing growth. If your cutting has multiple nodes, it is likely that roots may form at multiple points along the stem. This is great, as this means you can have multiple plants from one cutting. Thank you for watching, happy growing.